Welcome back everyone, Marcelo is my name, Niche Fragrance Collector in the Oligarch store. With this, actually, we did this a second take. <laughs> what were you saying? You were genius, you were genius, amazing. Genius, handsome, just ever so talented, Prince of Perfumes, they call me the, the king of luxury, I don't know. <laughs> I love, that just rolled off his tongue beautifully. Yeah. The Asian oligarch. You're, you're all of those, brother, you're all of those. <laughs> so we are in the oligarch store here in Melbourne, and one brand that we've been always talking about. We've been dying to cover. We have actually uh, put a lot of Bodicea the Victorious perfumes in our series we together. Have. We, we have. have. They've always, it, it's always sprinkled in yep. the different lineups that we do. We've just got to cover it. But we thought today we'd do a spotlight video. Absolutely. Yeah. So these, so what I asked Kevin is, from the massive, massive collection that is, is here to my right. If you are new to the game, so you were coming into Bodicea, mm. you wanted to experience who these people were or mm. what these fragrances were, where would we start and then where would we move? So yeah. some, you know, some different suggestions. Yeah. And as Kevin so rightly said, he is the Prince of Perfume. So uh, <laughs> here we go. This is a curated lineup for I guess we want to cover every price range because with Bodicea, it's amazing that they have every single price level. You can right. come in at any point, whether you are luxury, very, very well versed, and you have a lot of expensive bottles, or you're new and you, and you just started dipping your feet into niche. So what's, what makes the difference? Is it the different ingredients that they're using? Is it the... We've got ingredients. We've got some of them as limited edition. I know that uh, Bodicea is a brand that's very, very big in Harrods in London, the, the super luxury store there, right. and they have a lot of exclusives just for that boutique. Right. Um, and then they, you know, of course, it's, it's going to be a brand that is a little hard to get your hands on, depending on where you are in the world. Right. But and we're very fortunate here in Australia, we yeah. have, well, yeah. through Oligarch, we have access to the full, actually, extensive collection of, of the fragrances. So I love that Oligarch don't mess around. I mean, that you you actually get you get the library yeah. you know you don't just go i'll just get, the, get this one or that one you actually get the library so so the very first one that i wanted to start off with great price point to enter into and also this style of scent this is called energizer which you can imagine is going to be a very blast of a it's quite energizing invigorating it's brilliant yeah um the name really tells you what it's about exactly exactly but also it covers that spectrum of aromatic fresh citrus, which is pretty much going to be a style of scent that you will, everyone really starts off at that style. I was gonna say, easy love. Yeah. So coming in from designers, uh, you won't be taken aback by this. If anything, you'll go, oh my gosh, I've never smelt it in such uh, complexity. Oh, high quality, right. the juice is just amazing. Performance on skin, it's awesome. like over eight hours for a citrus is very, very, hard to do, yep. but it's paired in with a lot of spices there, vetiver, it's a grapefruit top. Right. Right. So not just that lemon, but it's actually got, you know, more of a complexity Is there any, to it. any herbal notes in there? Like a, like. Yes. A lot of herbaceous green notes that come through it's it beautiful. as well. Yeah. This makes you feel alive when you're wearing it. It's vibrant. It's energetic. It's yep. energizing. Yep. You know, so. Those days when I wake up, and I open my blinds and the sun is out. Mm. It already sets you in a particular mood, yeah, right? Yeah, it, you, yeah. You're already in this happy kind of, you're gonna have a good day. Yeah. You put on a scent like this when it's those kind of days, right? You feel happy. Yeah. yeah. Great place to start. So if you're new to uh, Bodicea, is it Bodicea or Bo uh, Bodicea? Botero, botero, okay, okay, fine, all right. All right. <laughs> I say, I'm gonna mm -hmm. say what you say, all right? I say Bodicea. Bodicea it is. I've heard some US people say Bodicea. Anyway, great Energizer. place to start. This is easy love. Yeah, yeah. Now, you want to take a step up a little bit, expand that range of aromatic freshness, but still keep it in that similar realm. What do we add some spices to it? This is a bomb. Yeah. All right, so when I first experienced this fragrance, I, I almost felt like you were trying to poison me. It's like, <laughs> it, it went, this is a bomb. End of story, all right? Yeah. It's, so um, what's the keynote in this? Beast of a fragrance. This was inspired by Arabic coffee, believe it or not, uh, which some people get a bit taken aback because they think that Arabic coffee has the DNA of Western coffee, right. which is dark chocolate. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a little bitter, but right. it's also sweet. Right. But this, Arabic coffee is actually made more built around cardamom and spices. So it's a fresh aromatic scent with cardamom at the heart. So Kevin fell in love with this fragrance when it first came out. You've always been a real fan of cardamom. Yeah. You like the coffee and all the rest of it. He shared this with me. 
I did think he was trying to poison me, all right? Because <laughs> it's, it's really, mm. it is a cardamom bomb. Yeah, absolutely. However, wear it on skin. I promise you, this is the most spectacular, vibrant. It is aromatic, but now there's a twist, you know, with the spicy notes coming through. It will take you a back of it. So that cardamom is a big hit, mm. but it does come down and it, it transforms. It's really impressive. It's almost like you get some outside floral notes start to creep in, mm. in it. It wears really easy. At the start, it is that it hit. It's a bit of a funny thing because the first fragrance, sun's out, sunny, hot day. This one, I think, same. Right. But a lot of people wear it in autumn, winter. Right. The spices project really well. Right. When they're missing something that's, they want to still wear something fresh on those cooler days. They don't just want to wear it dark, Maybe they don't, they don't like oud and like woody notes and right. stuff. Go for something that has perhaps more of a spice to it. Yeah. Complex aromatic. If you like your aromatics, this is an incredible step forward in a direction that you're probably not comfortable with, but I promise you. So yeah. from a guy who was like, what is this about? Yeah. To converted, this is really, really amazing. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So the first one is a great entry-level fragrance. Yes. Exactly. Now, Kawa, what are we looking at? The same price? We're or? still at that similar price range there. We're right. stepping it up a little from the Energizer. You're looking at probably about $50 difference there. Right. Stepping right. up, and you're starting to uh, you're starting to head towards that mid-level price range right. there. So we're sitting, we're sitting at something like the next fragrance. Bodacious. Their Bodacious. bestseller in the last six months i've been telling everyone that this season it seems like cherry is having its time it is. every brand that has a cherry fragrance have is beginning to pop okay now have you tried this one i don't think i have actually all right let me describe it close your eyes okay here we go all right this is a very warm boozy close your eyes i was gonna say cherry just went pop. <laughs> sorry you're talking but cherry's going hello yeah, i'm sorry. here <laughs> Cherry wine, almost mm. like this boozy cherry wine Absolutely. that's been sitting in an oak cask for mm -hmm. 10, 15 years, just mm -hmm. macerating in there because you get the outside oak woody notes, the woody chips, and almond is very creamy. Funny. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, is that chocolate? Is that almond? Yes. It's almond. There you go. It, which adds this creamy element to it the does. cherry. It does. Different from many other brands that have made a cherry scent. Cherry can be a little bit, because um, they use cherry in medicine, they use cherry in soft drinks. Mm. So it can be a little bit confectionary. Yes. This is not it. I describe it, a lot of cherry fragrances, it's almost like you pick up the synthetic Correct. chemical. This is not it. This is a beautiful, and I think it's the almond cherry combination. I like the thought of the, it's kind of like blending. you said cherry wine, and it does have a the depth of that, the woodier tones, I yeah. guess, the, the richness of it. That's right. It's not really a mm -hmm. like a candy drink. No. It's more like it's very deep wine. All right. On skin. Yeah. All right. All right. Because <laughs> now I want to see what this is going to do. On skin. All right. What's this okay. going to do? Yeah. One spray, please. There we go. Grazie. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So on opening, that almond is really popping through. Yep. There is a woodier tone to it. The cherry is definitely there. Now, I must say, the first two it's always lent more masculine. Right. We've had more guys really love it because typically guys go for the more fresh, bold, aromatic style scents. Sure, sure. This has a lot of sweetness from that cherry yeah. and that creamy almond. A lot of women have been buying it, probably women more, to be honest with you. I could wear this. Yeah. So if you like Italica from Casa Morati, yeah. I mean, this is a pared down version from that. I find that Italica can be very um, gourmand, more. gourmand yeah. yeah, very almondy, very pastry-like. Mm. This is, there's more woodier tones. I'd like your cherry wine comparison because it does have mm. a richness in there and the fruit is definitely, is prevalent. Definitely. Um, it's beautiful, mate. But again, it's one that I could see you wear it, but I also see your wife wearing it. Uh, Maybe not yes, Sandra because yes, she's yes, like yes. too sweet, but, yep. but as in a, a lot of kind of like partners Women. would be sharing yeah, yep. this fragrance. Yep, this is a winner. Now the next one does lean a little more feminine. So this right. one's for the ladies. Right. But actually it's one that I really love too, mm. myself. This one here is called Decade. And it is in one of their more special, uh, different. Because yeah, funny, yeah, when you yeah. look at when you actually look at the bottle, it looks. Yeah. I don't know why it leans masculine to my yeah. to my eyes. It actually looks more because of that really like bit like worn, X Men worn kind of like yeah yeah. yeah but yeah. also the shield. Yeah, the shield. The shield right. itself is right. quite a it's strong masculine right. look to it. Right. But smell it. Let me know what you think because this one here, 
is a very complex aldehyde. Mm. So an aldehyde being a uh, very complex floral that is a Absolutely. little clean and soapy in, in nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That soapiness. There was some citruses in, on the opening yes. coming through. Yes. Um, it's one that actually I've sold to two women who both were wearing it to their wedding day. Right. So there's this real... It performs amazing, and they were looking for something that is very clean, uplifting. Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, price point. So we're adding a few more yeah, dollars. Yeah, so now we're adding more zeros. We are stepping up to the next bracket. So right. that's another dollar sign on that uh, our price of decade here. We're sitting at mid-tier right now. Right, okay. Yeah. But you're saying that this has great longevity. Yes. Your yes. sillage would be pretty... And the complexity, I must say, there's, there's, there's more happening in this fragrance right. than some of the more entry-level right. scents. Right. Um, and that's just by nature what you'll get with the price point. It'll step up a little. Right. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Uh, but I, I can see that it is a little bit more feminine leaning. Mm. Uh, that, there's more florals. That aldehyde is definitely evident. It's powdery. Mm. Fun question. A scent like this, where do you see it being worn? What, what kind of weather? Because oh, okay. I get all over, like, it really covers a big I was going to say, this is all year. Yeah. And I was actually going to say, this is comfortably in any season. So, meaning, sorry, any occasion. So, office, this is a day to day fragrance. Mm -hmm. Interesting that they, they bought it for their wedding, but I can see why, because of yeah. the florals, the aldehydes. Yeah. But this is a, a, a day to day fragrance. And I guess. Wedding, you pair with a lot of bouquets of flowers. Right. You know, at, at the church, at the reception, flowers everywhere, right. and you kind of want that um, nature. But you know what's interesting? It's not overtly feminine. I'd like to look at notes on this one. On opening, you're getting a beautiful Bulgarian rose with saffron, pineapple, bergamot, aldehydes. In the heart is geranium, rose de may, and hedion. In the base is amber, musk, patchouli, and guaiac wood. What do you think? I love fragrances that you can smell, and you're like, mm, what's in there? Mm. And then you look at the notes and you're like, okay, yeah. I did not know. Bergamot, I mean, yeah. well, bergamot makes sense, the citrus. Yeah. But pineapple? Uh, Some of the citrus of the pineapple, but not so much that sweet, yeah. fruity, right. edible pineapple that's in some other pineapple focused fragrance. Right. I think it just kind of plays a part on the top, but this is most definitely more of that complex floral. I think so too. And, and the aldehydes, yeah. the, the woods in the, in the base that they were there. Mm. Is it guayac or guayac? You tell us. Comment down below. I say it's guayac wood. I say guayac. But I've heard some people saying guayac wood. I don't know. The more refined people say guayac. Oh, really? It's guayac wood. Back me up, back me up. <laughs> no, but very nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And the aldehydes are definitely playing a part. Yes, you can definitely. Detect that. We're going to take a step up to now their Lux collection. Okay, here we go. This is top of the shelf. If you guys can see, I hope you guys do notice in the videos, Everything is bland, right? Marcelo puts, we have the, the bottles in the back, if you can see, right behind me. That's the top here, yeah, top shelf, Bodicea of the Victorious Fragrances. Things that I need to put behind the glass cabinet <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> so people like him doesn't go on. <laughs> well, hey, I want to come here. I want to experience. Yeah, of course. I want course. to experience, yeah, of course, of course. man. All right, what do we got? The next one is Tobacco Sapphire. Mm. It is the latest release in the Sapphire collection. This is gorgeous, by the way. Um, which many of you guys know, you've got names like Blue Sapphire mm. in that range. Mm. This, I think, is going to be the very next big iconic scent from the house. It is a tobacco scent like no other. Um, it's one that people that like a bit more of your dark spices. Yeah. This is a big hitter. Yeah. This is spectacular. If you like tobacco... Just the quality of this tobacco is mm. insane. And what I love is you pick up this, these these really rich, smoky notes of saffron, mm. cumin. Mm. I was wearing this, getting amazing compliments from everywhere I was going. So just so you know, uh, this is a cooler weather fragrance. So as, a, as something to warm you up, warm mm. your soul, mm. the sea is just fantastic. Mm. Just a really, really, if you like tobacco, really, really good fragrance. But a lot of the spices, again, are those warm kind of Correct. spices. Correct, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's one that, you know, I, I actually was lucky enough to try this in Milan at Essence the mm. first time, which was summer mm. in Italy. And I wore it, projection, it was absolute beastly. It was insane. And I don't have a problem with wearing it in summer, to be honest. Right. Probably, I was enjoying it a bit more after 5, 6 p.m. So when it started to get a bit later in the yeah, evening, right. I was enjoying it more. Right. 
Um, so I think you're right. Maybe not in the dead heat of the afternoon. Yeah, but but also, well, look, we're, we're two different people. I like these these more ambery, warmer, earthy toned fragrances. Mm. I love for winter, whereas this man here just you know that. I don't, for, yeah, opposite. it screams summer for you, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this has a very classic, very signature Christian Provenzano DNA. Right. Who is Christian, the rock star, master perfumer yeah. behind Bodice CNL. Right. Um, and this is one of his creations. Yeah, yeah. I, I would go as far as saying don't compare it to a Naxos. This is something, no. Mm. So Naxos is you know, gorgeous fragrance. But this is almost like... For me, I call like the big brother. I was going to say the big daddy of it, you know? The big daddy, yeah. Yeah, the this big, is this the is one that, you know... The big daddy scent. Yeah, yeah. Um, comes with a big daddy price. <laughs> That's so really this one, we're stepping up now. As you guys can see, silver cups, silver caps, silver plates. Now we're going gold caps, gold plates. Right. Gold dollar sign to that. <laughs> so we're taking a step up. A few more zeros. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. taking a step up now. And this, this Sapphire range is, is really made to be their top of the line sense right um, I almost get like a boozy component to it too yeah like this kind of yeah, like yeah. a not a rum but for me it's a bit more like a cognac whiskey uh, yeah cognac there you go yeah yeah a bit more of a cognac whiskey to it yeah um, and I think that's usually paired very well with your um, tobacco leathers yeah right. they will usually do that classic gentleman style of tobacco leather and something a bit cognac whiskey yeah. on skin please all right I'm gonna do it because I'm smelling that so yeah. as a companion to the the cherry fragrance there you go as a companion to the bodacious, yeah. this is awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, and actually you can pick up the spices more on my skin. Yes. So on yes, that first spray, uh, yeah, yeah. You mentioned cumin. It's always the cumin yeah, for me. right. Is the first thing that Funny, on the card, it wasn't... Not, not as much? No, I'm, I'm getting more ambery, earthy, mm. and whereas on skin, I'm getting the cumin. Yeah. yeah, and I know I realize I'm in the opening of the actual fragrance, yeah. but having said that, it still performs differently on skin, mm. yeah. When I smell it, I think Dubai, desert, right. sandy, dusty. Almond. But not a Middle Eastern fragrance. Not Middle Eastern, but it puts me in like, I don't know why, I, I picture sand this color. Right, right. But I'd never pick up any like animalic tones. No, no, zero. To this. No, no. Um, Beautiful. Gorgeous fragrance. Now we go to the top shelf here, the highest of the high. Can I just say, my wife came in, yeah. we were, you know, testing out. All the oh, different, yeah, yeah. yeah, all the That's different right. bodices. Yeah. And without looking at pricing, you know, we're just looking around. She picked this one. She's like, Kevin, how much is this one here? And Kevin's like, really? That one, you don't want to choose something else? And she's like, no, no, I really like this one. I was thinking about oh, you, man. brother. I was thinking about your, your wallet. And I was like, oh, damn, he's not going to be, oh, whoa. So this one is like extra, extra zeros. Mm. But my wife's got good taste. That's why she chose me. That's it. That's it. You're still stuck on the perfume. Wow, come on. This, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Hanuman. So this one is part of a collection where they put different animals on the face. And I, and I love the bottle. Yeah, and sometimes it pairs in with Lunar New Year, so a different animal they'll change. Right. But sometimes they, they, they just come out with their own right. with, with their own piece. So this is the monkey. My wife loves this fragrance. Yeah. This one, we have to look at the notes. Opening notes, you're looking at a bergamot with lemon and orange. In the heart, neroli and jasmine. Base notes are vetiver, amber, cedarwood, sandalwood, musk, and vanilla. So Sandra falls in love with yeah. neroli. Yeah. She loves neroli and jasmine. So they're in the heart. Interestingly, there's vanilla in the base. She's not a vanilla, a, a, a fan of vanilla. I've never but found it that prominent. No, it's in not. This fragrance, it's though. not at all. No. It's much more of that bright, Absolutely. sweet opening. Absolutely. Um, I've always said that sometimes I think Christian Provenzano leaves out a couple of notes because mm. I pick up some more complex florals right. than, than just... Than just neroli and jasmine. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I always pick up more. Can I smell it on your skin? Yeah. Yeah, so we're, it's, it's, right now it's this beautiful, realistic citrus. So that orange, mm. that lemon that's in there, it's fantastic. It, it does dry into those beautiful floral hearts. That... I even feel a bit bad by just saying simply citrus right because you automatically think of entry-level designer you know just like freshy and if you look at those notes you think to yourself well, what's what, so special about yeah it? what's so special about it why am i paying yeah. this kind of money yeah. when it's got jasmine and neroli in the heart that's right but there's something about it i think you will never see it done this way it's the quality is mm. indescribable mm. it's just my wife has a number of fragrances in her collection and yet this 
stands she, out. She fell in love with it. Yeah, yeah. Without knowing anything about it. Zero. She was going around spraying stuff and she just thought this Zero. one. She was asking all about it. She was asking me for a bottle. So. <laughs> and he said no. I said, yeah, I said no for you. <laughs> yeah. And looking at me, I'm like, come on, man. Come on, oh, man. Maybe, not, maybe you should try something else. <laughs> There's so many other fragrances. No, beautiful oh, fragrances. It's beautiful. insane. But this is, I would say, a special occasion scent. Right, right. When you don't want something, special occasions don't always have to be a heavy hitter. No, I agree. Like yeah. a heavy duck, you know what I mean? Correct, correct, correct. correct. Not everyone likes those style scents. Like yeah. your wife, she doesn't like no, no, dark no, no. leather. She, no, no, no. Sandra's not into yeah. heavy anything. You know? That's right. But when you guys have a special occasion, maybe it's your zoo son, your daughter's wedding, something like that. Mm. She will still want something that's absolutely, special. absolutely, absolutely. I'm smelling bodacious. Yeah. What do you think? It's awesome. There you go. It is awesome. And I was a little bit reluctant with cherry. So cherry, again, I, and this is what I mentioned earlier, it's one of those great notes that, unfortunately for me, it does make me think of confectionary things. Yeah. This is not any way confectionary. Mm. It's very rich, very deep, very woody in, in style. Yeah. Slight vanilla, gorgeous fragrance. You don't really come across many cherries like this. No, no, this is really impressive. And of course, what was this one that, oh, tobacco. Forget, oh, there you go. It. <laughs> Cumin, Tobacco's, tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's come off the spices. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous fragrance. There you go. Beautiful collection. We're going to do something special for you guys. If you haven't, if you don't already know, all right. Every video that's going to be released in this series, we're doing this just for the NFC viewers, just for you guys. It's promo code NFC5 for a discount on any of the fragrances. We're also going to be paying for free express shipping, but it's only going to be 48 hours when this video is posted. Yeah. Good luck. To so get on it quick. Yeah, get on it. And these prices, I mean, that's not bad. You're saving a lot. Yep. Yeah, yeah. When you're talking about a lot of the high ends. Not bad. Correct. Yeah. Correct. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.